Chow here from johnchow.com and welcome to uh, another episode of Driving with John Chow. I'm uh, kind of stuck in traffic right now. Not because it's rush hour. Rush hour is over. I'm headed for a meetup. I'm stuck in traffic because California people can't drive in the rain. It's kind of like Vancouver people can't drive in the snow. It's rain and snow is like Vancouver and California. Treat the same way. Vancouver has no problem driving in the rain, but they can't handle the snow. California got no problem driving in clear weather, but when it rains, it's like, ah! Ridiculous, ridiculous. Anyway, <laughs> I want to talk to you guys about the sales funnel. See, guys, too many people make the mistake of how to use the sales funnel properly. When I tell them about the sales funnel, they think, okay, that basically means that I send a series of autoresponder emails to the lead and just sell them stuff. Well, I'm not sure how that may be yes, but there's actually multiple steps to a sales funnel. I want to go over what elements are in a proper sales funnel. See, a sales funnel doesn't just sell them, oh, letter A sells one, letter B sells two, letter three sells three, four, and so on and so on. No, a sales funnel doesn't do that. A sales funnel actually has four distinctive steps. And if your sales funnel is not making any money, chances are it's missing one of these four steps. All right, so let's, let's go through them. And uh, uh, yeah, just, it'll be just an overview real quick. And maybe in future episodes, I'll, I'll talk about each individual component of the sales funnel and then we'll get into more detail. But for now, uh, overview. The first type of sales funnel, it's called a lead magnet. Now the lead magnet, it's what you use to get people to opt in. It's usually a free ebook, a free video, something free that you can entice them to enter the email address. That's the lead magnet. Straightforward, simple. In my case, my lead magnet is my ebook, The Ultimate Online Profit Model. 50 page ebook, uh, offers great value, tells them how I make six figure every month online, and enter the email address. They download it, it's free. Done. Lead magnet gets me over 200 opt ins a day. After the lead magnet, the, steps, the second step in sales funnel is called, it's called a tripwire. Now, a tripwire is exactly that. It's the, a tripwire test. It's, it's kind of like a test. When your sales funnel kicks into action, you're trying to build the relationship, establish your authority, and recommend products and solutions to solve their problem. The product and solution, those are the, those are the three elements, the four elements of the sales funnel. Now, after the first element of the of the of the lead magnet, the next three elements are part of the recommend products and solution. So the first one is on a tripwire. The tripwire is where you try to sell the lead a, a product that costs money, but is not so expensive, more like an impulse purchase, anywhere from $10 to $50. Basically, the purpose is not to make money with this, pro with this product. The purpose is to get a customer. It's like how Apple does it. They try to get, I mean, you, the person doesn't know you yet, so they're not, they're not going to spend a lot of big money with you, but they might spend 10 bucks, 20 bucks, 30 bucks, 40, 50 dollars with you. They might, they might do that. And that's what, that's what we call the tripwire. Because once they do that, then you can go into the next part of the sales funnel. So the first one, the lead man gets a lead, and, people, people, and then people will go for the tripwire, the second part, and that's when they buy a, a low price item from you, so you can see that that is a customer, or that's a lead that I need to concentrate on because they're a buyer. Okay? They're no longer a lead now, they're a buyer. Right? So after the tripwire, the next part of the sales funnel is called the, is your core product. So you take your buyer who tripped the tripwire, and now you try to sell them your core product. And your core product are much more expensive. See, if a person buys a small product of you and they like it and they saw value on it, They'll spend money with you again. This is that's how that's how it works, you know. They now trust you. They can see, yeah, it's good stuff. What else do you have? So that's when you start offering them the core product, and the core product is anywhere from one thousand dollars to five thousand dollars. Your core product. So in other words, your core product is a high-end product, a high-end product. Because okay? you, when you get a customer, most people, most internet marketers have no idea how much that customer is worth to them. They figure, hey, I made 50 bucks off this customer. No, if you make 50 bucks off a customer, you can make thousands of a customers. Just ask Apple. You start off by 
buying a little fifty dollar iPod next to you know your house is full of Apple products. Like I have over, actually I don't want to say how much Apple products I have, like because it's over it's five figures of Apple products, right? Because because that's Apple understands the sales funnel, right? So you offer the core product, and if a customer goes for the core product, then at the same time you offer the profit multiplier, and that is the upsell in addition to the core product. And the profit multiplier is anywhere from $5,000 to $100,000. That's a profit multiplier. And that will drastically increase your earning into, well, six figures per month. See, most, most internet marketers, they're dealing with a sales funnel of only selling $50, 90, 50 to $100 products, or maybe $297 at the most. And they're wondering how come, you know, they're not making 100 grand a month. It's because their sales funnel doesn't only has the lead magnet and the tripwire. A proper sales funnel has both the lead magnet and the tripwire, but also includes a core product and a profit multiplier. And that is a secret to making six figure, seven figures per month. So that's a little overview of the prop of a proper sales funnel. And that is all. Most people in the market are missing the last two. And the last two is what makes you all the money. So time to reevaluate your sales funnel. And if you're missing any of those, ele any of those four elements, time for you to add them. John Chow from JohnChow.com. Thank you for listening. I welcome your feedback. Please subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys on the next episode.